Uh, this is Julio Rodriguez, and you're listening to Gym on Bass. Welcome back to another episode of the Gym on Bass show. We're here in San Francisco with Julio Rodriguez. And Julio, it's nice to meet you. Thanks for coming on. Uh, thank you. Thank you for inviting me here. A nice day in San Fran. Yeah. I know it's kind of a big day for you, right? Because your your own cereal brand just came out too, right? Called Julio's. Uh, yeah, it came out a little bit ago, and uh, and we have a base in, in Seattle and other Fred Myers out there. Awesome. So, are you a big cereal guy growing up? Then I imagine, or I really was. I really was a big cereal guy, and we, we, we didn't have the availability so much over there, but definitely, definitely was growing up. Well, I thought it's pretty neat about you too. Is from your hometown. Is it true you bought an ambulance, right, for the community? Yes, yes. But we gave it away uh, at the beginning of this year back there. And what made you do that? Do you have a connection to first responders or anything like that? Um, it was just what motivated me really was. I know the limitations that a lot of people has over there. The limitations that we had we, we had as a community. So I feel like if I have had so many blessings and like the possibility to help so many people that I was gonna do and. I feel that was one of the ways that I thought there was it was going to be good to help the community over there. Well, it's a great move, and it must have been pretty amazing too for you to represent your own country in the World Baseball Classic, right? Oh, for sure, it was definitely an unbelievable experience to be able to wear the that jersey representing the Dominican Republic. And you're uh, getting ready for the home run derby coming up, right? So, anything? Are you going to tinker with anything or change anything for your uh, second time doing it? Uh, no, honestly, just go out there and have fun again, enjoy the event. It was definitely a great event last year, and we're going to go out there and have fun again. And I know you're, is it your girlfriend or your fiancé? She's a Canadian soccer player, right? So yeah, how'd you guys yeah. meet? Uh, we, just, we, we met out there in Seattle okay. uh, once she got back from uh, France and all that. So it was good. It was definitely good out there, and it's been pretty good so far. Awesome. And I know it looked like you bought your dad a truck somewhat recently, right? So are you a big truck guy or...? Yeah, no, I like a lot of the things, man. A lot, a lot of the things that yeah, I feel like I always like to provide, mm -hmm. provide for my family because you, you know, like we, we've been through a lot of things, so definitely good now. Well, one last question, and I'll wrap it up. Who did you grow up rooting for? Who are maybe some of your favorite players, and have you had the chance to meet them so far? Oh uh, man, I had a lot of favorite players, man. A lot of, a lot of legends like David Ortiz, mm -hmm. guys like Alex Rodriguez, Manny Ramirez, Pedro Martinez. Ichiro Suzuki. There has been just so many good players that I follow, and that gave me so 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 much of a good example to follow. Well, Julio, it was a lot of fun getting to meet you. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll be rooting for you the rest of the way. Perfect. Thank you so much, Jim.